got it set up and running. Okay, I think I've got the settings right. Probably don't. I don't have a variable ND for it yet, so I don't know what I'm going to need there. Probably a 72 to 90 something, or at least an 80 something adapter. 10 millimeters is pretty wide. And we'll see how that works. For right now, I may just put it in aperture priority and allow it to just shutter speed and just accept that it's going to have like high shutter speeds to get to get me by because I don't have one. Okay, new vlogging rig activated. I've got a let's see here, I'm shooting at 10 millimeters. I've got the 10 to 20 Nikkor DX lens. It's a variable aperture and all that. Oh look, the chickens want something to eat. Okay, I've got the new Z50 vlogging rig put together and I've got it with the Rode Video Micro plugged into it. I've played around with the audio levels a little bit and they look good. I haven't had to really adjust that. I've got the 10 to 20 Nikkor DX on it. It's a variable aperture lens, but at 10 millimeters, it's F4.5 which is not much worse than my 24 to 70. So at f4.5, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in focus, but you know, you get a little bit of that blurry background if it's way back there, like behind me now. But it's kind of neat. It's a little heavier than a GoPro, of course. Didn't really think of that. I don't know what minimum focus distance is, but I am literally about 15 inches from the lens and I think it's in focus, so. This is supposedly going to improve my videography dramatically in 2021. <laughs> we shall see. I plan to do my best to utilize this little camera as a video camera to its fullest capability. I will be working on that this year. I do have the kit lens that came with the camera and I got the FDZ adapter. That's how I got the 10 to 20 on it. We're going to just experiment with it. What do y'all think of the video quality? I was... Um, Kind of excited to get it out of the box and get it all put together. I thought I'll shoot a little montage of the unboxing and share that with you guys. Y'all y'all think it's cool? Let me know. Drop, drop me a comment. Tell me if you think the video quality looks good. I've got image stabilization on this lens. It's a VR lens. The camera has electronic stabilization, so I turned them both on in the hopes that I don't have shaky footage. I'm willing, I'm shooting in 1080p, 24 frames, so I'm willing to accept a little bit of motion blur. And currently I'm running in shutter priority. No, I'm running in aperture priority because I'm allowing the shutter speed to float until my variable ND gets here. What do y'all think? It looked pretty good. So let's go in here and get this edited up. I'm gonna upload it and let you guys play with it and see what y'all think. But this is a pretty neat little camera. I'm kind of interested in seeing how it flows and see how well the whole focus tracking works and all that. Because it looked like it was trying to latch on to stuff and focus on things. So, curious to see how well this does. All right, let's go inside and put it in the computer, see what we got.